Hey everyone, Yui here, and I'm going to be starting a new video series of sorts. It's going to be a comprehensible, well, heh, <laughs> comprehensible, let's, uh, the best I can, guide to special attack rings, because as you can see, we've gotten a decent amount. I mean, a lot of them are pretty similar, but some, you're like, oh, which one went with what card, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I thought that was going to go longer train of thought. But anyways, this will obviously be uh, updated as we get more uh, attack rings because obviously this is not all of them. Seeing how at least wave one and two alone we're missing at least three of them. And there are some cases where like this one that came with the ten doesn't even have a card. So I mean... I, I would assume it would... Well, we'll get to that. Anyways, uh, starting out from the top, we have Blaze Swords. Now, normal Blaze Swords... I should have two cards. I don't know where the other one went. It's missing. But normal Blaze Swords is usually this style of attack ring. Kind of have, like, swords on the side makes sense and then also have it in a green style but the cards uh, are the same so really it's all a matter of what color style you want to use that for but that is normal blaze swords now diamond blaze swords is a little easier to figure out seeing how it has a more orangey color compared to the yellow so, usually it seems the diamond ones will be easy to be like, oh, that's that attack ring. But that is the diamond variation of Blaze Swords. And for Street Brawl, it's essentially a gray version with the Misfit Clan. And the card also has the Street Brawl added effects. So... Again, Street Brawl will be easy to f remember just because they're darker gray with clan symbol. So, usually not too hard to remember, oh, that's that one. But, moving on to the set next ring, we have, if I can pick it up, Blazing Warrior, which is this kind of a ring. It's kind of, mm, how would I describe this? They look more like little angel wings, kinda. I mean, obviously they're meant to be swords, but pretty easy to remember. Blazing Warrior goes with this one. See, it's kind of confusing because these look like swords, but you have Blaze Swords, but this isn't Blaze Swords. That's Blaze Swords. But yeah, that's Blazing Warrior. And as stated with the Street Brawl Blaze Swords, it's pretty easy to figure out which one is the street brawl because it's a darker gray with the clan symbol and your card will have the street brawl effects on there moving on to our third ring we have chrome wings now this is the diamond variation it's just missing the diamond part there because i got a misprint i guess sony is blues card has diamond there and it's the same stats but who knows? Anyways, this is Chrome Wings. It's pretty easy to remember just because it actually looks like bird wings. Just You have like the edge of the wing and then the tail feathers. Pretty easy to remember. And then you have this orange variant that came with the tin and no card. So I would assume... Once we have a normal Chrome Wings card, you could just use it with that. For now, I honestly don't really use this just because, again, no card, so kind of hard to make the judgment call. Alright, and then our other, our second Chrome Wings is the Street Brawl variant. As usual, dark gray with clan symbol, just as a silver instead of a gold. And you got your Street Brawl effects on your card. So, pretty easy to remember that one. 
Now moving on to the one that I have the most of at this point is Flare Axe and Smash Hammer. Now, while there are slight differences with the card or the rings themselves, every single card is exactly the same stats. So, and also like one of the easier ones to remember of oh yeah that's that ring because I mean you got an axe and you got a hammer <laughs> not too difficult on that one as you can see this one's a little well uh more uh what's the word I'm looking for this one's definitely more yellow as this is a lighter yellow I guess is what I'm looking for this came with the 10 I believe this I think was the uh, blue bruiser starter. Then there's the green version, which I already forgot which one this came with. Yeah, no, I don't remember. <laughs> it's in my unboxing videos. It, it's there. I just can't remember which one it... Oh, wait, it was green bruiser in the, uh, diamond drago pack. I remember now. All right. And then we have a Street Brawl variant of Flare Axe Smash Hammer. Again, dark gray clan symbol. Markings on card. Pretty easy to remember for the Street Brawls. Alright, next up, if I can pick up the card, is Star Flails. Uh, again, another one that's pretty easy to remember, seeing how you have, like, the end of the flails and then, like, the chains, what they also kind of look like. Insect legs. Not hard to really remember which one is uh, Star Flails, and also a lot of them have pretty easy design cues based on the card and the rings, so like those match. And again, Flare Axe Smash Hammer, pretty dang easy to remember. Alright. Then we have uh, Street Brawl Star Flails, which is interestingly enough a gray card, where the normal one was like a the golden card, but again, usual dark gray with clan symbol, easy street brawl. And the last of our rings, at least for part one of this guide until we get more, is Scorch Whips. Now we don't have a normal one to compare, but we have Galaxy Scorch Whips. Uh, pretty easy to remember just because it's the only standard Scorch Whips we have at the moment. And it does have like a whip detail and little... It, it kind of has the added... What would you call that? Lightning? Fire? I don't know. But like the added effects along the whips. So pretty easy to remember. And lastly, Street Brawl Scorch Whips. Same thing, just dark gray with clan symbol and designs on the card so again street brawl so far is like the easiest rings to remember what's what but yeah that's pretty much it for this part one comprehensive guide uh feel free to let me know in the comments if this was helpful or not Ho hopefully this will be a better reference point than like constantly going back to unboxing videos and being like Okay, that came with that and that card, and yeah. <laughs> I'm rambling at this point, but anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next guide. Bye!